Redfall is a game that has been in the light of the gaming space for all the wrong reasons, most notably for its lackluster gameplay and horrible AI. I wasn't really interested in the game to begin with, but I figured since it's on Game Pass, I could at least see what everyone was up in arms about. So I played the infamous Redfall, and guys, I have to admit something. I actually really like Redfall. I personally didn't think I'd like it, but I spent a bit of time with it, and I had fun. So in today's episode of Rated M, let's talk about Redfall. Before we start, subscribe if you haven't already. I talk about video games on this channel, whether it's reviewing them or looking back on them, so if that interests you, subscribe. Also, if you like variety gaming content, check out my second channel. The link is in the description. Alright, so let's first discuss what's going on with Redfall. If you haven't been on the internet lately, everyone is up in arms about Xbox's newest release, Redfall, a vampire slaying looter shooter FPS by the devs of Dishonored. It's been in development for about two years and it finally released about a week ago. However, people weren't satisfied. Lots of people lamented over the repetitive missions and the enemy AI being broken beyond belief. There are also a lot of people complaining about technical issues, but I don't really want to count that as a flaw for the game as everyone who has been complaining about that has been on PC and everyone's rig is different, so I think that's really subjective. After hearing all this complaining that the gaming community loves to do, I had to check out the game for myself. And as I mentioned at the start, I don't really understand the hate people have for this game. I went in expecting another overwhelming Ubisoft style open world disaster, but the game is far from that. The game is just plain fun. It's really simplistic, but not in a detrimental way. To sum it up, it's like Borderlands or Destiny broken down into their core attributes. At the start, you pick from one of four characters. It shows you what the characters can do and what their playstyle is kind of like, and skimming through the abilities of each character, I could easily understand what they would feel like to play just from the videos and descriptions of the abilities alone. They're presented in a straightforward way, which I like. The premise of the game is that the town of Redfall has become infested with vampires, and it's up to the four main characters to put an end to them, as well as helping the remaining survivors of the town. As mentioned earlier, the game is a looter shooter, so you walk around the game's open area, find new guns to defeat enemies with, upgrade your character's abilities, rinse and repeat. And Redfall covers all of those bases in an easy way. Let's take the skill tree for example, this is a good skill tree. Everything is clumped together nice and neatly, and it's not overwhelming like some other games tend to do. Even my favorite game of all time, Cyberpunk 2077, I feel has a really bad skill tree. There's just too many decisions to make unless you know what kind of build you're going for, which a first time player most likely won't know. These upgrades are very direct, I can easily decide if I want it or not without really having to think about if I'll even notice the 20% difference to my abilities that an upgrade will give me. Also, the gunplay feels really nice, it feels kind of like a boomer shooter. I found myself switching weapons as opposed to reloading, and I moved around more than I took cover. I wouldn't say it's as fast paced as something like Doom, but it certainly doesn't feel like COD or even Far Cry, which this game has been compared to. And going back to those abilities, they're simple, and I found myself actually using them. I never really felt the reason to use abilities in looter shooters, but in this game, I actually use the abilities to gain an advantage against encounters. I think my only complaints with Redfall are the art style, which looks like a realistic Fortnite if that makes sense, and the music, which I have dubbed Trapsylvania music. It's like the iconic horror music sound that we're all familiar with, but they put like electronic bass and like this trap drum beat behind it. I think the only thing that's missing is a yo, yo Pierre, you wanna, you wanna come, come out, out here? here or something. <laughs> Also, I have noticed that the AI is relatively passive. Other than that, the game runs fine on my Series X and I haven't had any glitches occur so far. Other than that, I think Redfall is pretty decent. It's not perfect, but I definitely think that people are being way too harsh with it. Not every game needs to be on the level of Red Dead 2. Redfall definitely prioritizes a more laid back experience, which I find is a lot more fun than being overwhelmed with 300 abilities and upgrades to choose from or a 50 hour story or gameplay that takes years to master. This is a game you can come home from a long day of school or work and just pick up and play. And honestly, that's okay. Do I think the game should have been released in the state that it's in? No, I think Arcane should have taken more time to tune up the AI and better optimize the game on PC. I'm not advocating for broken games to be released, I'm advocating for simpler games. Games that put fun and the player's enjoyment first, and not how much grinding the player can do or its movie grade story. Are these elements important in their own right? Yeah, games should have content for the player to explore and a good narrative, but if the game's not fun to play, then what's the point? 